thought you'd be upstairs by now watching some soppy Christmas film. I heard the news about Rob. It must be deeply distressing. I wish I could speak to him. Don't know what I'd say, but... Just hear his voice, you know. How's he gonna even get through tonight? Just the thought of him lying on his bed. He's got no hope, no... No nothing to look forward to. You know, by the time he gets out, he'll have spent more time on the inside than he has on the outside. Sad waste of a life. He'll rob Otini. Both? I miss him so much. I'm sorry, Roy, I hate to ask, but it wouldn't kill you to give me up, would it? Roy, some of this looks like it's come out the ark. And he took these down and put them away before she died, knowing it would be the last time. I'm sure my choice of gifts will be found wanting, but it is not my department. My man was always a bit, well, random gift-wise, you know. Sometimes she bought me this girl's world. Obviously, it was second-hand, but, uh, anyway, you know what one of them is, don't you? It's a plastic head with hair that you do when you put makeup on it. Anyway, the previous owner obviously got glue in it at some point and it came to me with a massive clump at the back of his head. I'm sure that was very frustrating. No, Rob pulling his eyelashes out by tea time was very frustrating. Never forgiven for that. My mother always bought gifts of the boy she wished she'd had. What do you mean by that? Why, well, action, adventure, toys and board games you needed two to play. She did buy me a Beatles LP and then put her disc out doing the twist the hard days night. <laughs> yeah. Oh, good. <clears throat> you know what I really want? I want to just be able to fall into a deep, deep sleep. Wake up January the 1st and it's all over. I'm sure you will find happiness again. Yeah, I know. You will too. Huh. Two lost souls, eh, you and me? Maybe you and me ought to shack up, Roy. That'd give folks something to talk about, wouldn't it? Huh. <laughs>